Hello, welcome to this week's vlog. I'm very excited because we're gonna have some little bits and bobs of me and healthy parents, some little grocery hauls, some little meals. You're gonna see a little behind the scenes of what goes on in this broad's life. As a mother. To this guy. And bear. So I'm about to film a video for healthy snacks. So I just went to Whole Foods to pick up just a few essentials and my Whole Foods hauls are always so cheap. This was $5, what I'm about to show you, which just goes to show Whole Foods being expensive is a myth. Justice for Whole Foods. It's expensive if you buy grass fed meat and seafood and animal products, but when you buy these things, cheap. This banana was around I think this was 33 cents. I do have the receipt in here. Oh, I lied. The carrot was 33 cents. The banana was 21 cents. And I got three other things for the video. Cucumber was a dollar and nine cents. The apple was 84 cents. And then the most expensive was the purple cauliflower, which was 349. So I'm gonna turn all of these into really fun snacks. Film that and I'll show you the finished products. And then also picked up my package from Amazon because we had, a, we had a death in the family. This little number right here. Are we surprised it definitely died of overuse? This is my little scrubber, my electric scrubber that I use for my potatoes. And she has been well loved, but she passed away. So got a new one. So as you can see, it's an electric cleaning brush that's supposed to be for things like the stove top and the shower. But I use it for potatoes. It was only like $13. I'll link it on my Amazon storefront. It's actually really nice too. This is a, this is a big mama. So I'll show you. Comes with all these little pieces. I just use this part of it to scrub the potatoes. But you know, I'm thinking I should probably use it to clean my plate. Ooh, she's heavy. She is heavier than what I'm used to. This is a serious piece of machinery. All right, I gotta charge her. But it's also nice because it comes with, like, I could use, wow, they've got a lot of, got a lot going on here. All right, oh my gosh, there's so many pieces to this. But like I said, I just use this part for the potatoes. So out with the old, in with the new. All right, let's film this video. By the way, I need to introduce myself. Hey, I'm Healthy Emmy. I'm a nutritionist, a weight loss specialist, and the creator of the Slim on Starch program. So if you're interested in learning how you can get slim on starch and work with me and maybe even a mindset coach and a nutrition coach, then click the link in the down bar. I just made the snacks from the Healthy Snacks cookbook. They look absolutely amazing. These apple chips smell so good. So I did the this kind of, I need to make this look a little bit prettier, which I will do for the photo I'm gonna take, but I was moving it around, so it kind of fell a little bit. But the cauliflower poppers from the Healthy Snacks Cookbook, forget about it. They are so good because we use a special sort of baking method. We steam roast them, it's called. Then we have these crispy, delicious apple chips. They are nice and crunchy and crispy, only two ingredients. And then a cucumber carrot salad, which you can be fancy and eat them with chopsticks or you can just eat them with a fork. All right, snack video has been filmed. So now I actually, I need to take some photos of these, but the sun's not out. I really want the sun to be out for these photos, but I might just have to go without. I'm gonna take these photos and then I can eat them. Okay, I just changed after filming into a little workout outfit. I am gonna go do a little leg workout. I actually was using this as a prop and I didn't take this this morning, so I need to take my vitamin B12. Make sure that you are supplementing vitamin B12 if you're on a plant-based diet. You can try to find a good one on your own, but all the ones that I find out there are absolutely disgusting. This is a clean, premium ingredients of vitamin B12. It's the only one that I trust. It's linked in the down bar. And the pills are teeny tiny. This is one of the most common pieces of feedback that I get is people say, I can't believe how small the pills are. So they're really easy to swallow. But even, even if you can't swallow, you can open up the capsule, but I can swallow it without water because they're so small. Okay, so I'm gonna go do a little leg workout. The way that I structure my workouts is, and remember the best workout plan is the one that you can stick to. So I structure my workouts as such. I run every day, running a part, is just a part of who I am. I used to run like six to 12 miles every day. I loved running, but it really started to wear on my body. So maybe four years ago, I switched over to running just a 5K every day. I run three miles every day. So I've already done that this morning. 
and now I'm gonna go do a little leg workout. So I run every day, and then during the week, five days a week, I'll alternate between lower body and upper body. So today is lower body, so I'm gonna do my legs and glutes and hamstrings and all of that. A couple of years ago, I actually went to a personal trainer because I walked into the personal trainer and I said, I want to pay you to teach me how to do this. I'm not coming for accountability. I'm not coming because I know what to do and I'm just not doing it. I need to learn. So I'm going to an expert and you're teaching me what to do. And they taught me everything that I know how to do now. But even if you don't know what you're doing, you know, sometimes even I step into the gym and I'm like, man, there, there are some meaty guys in here. Like these guys know what they're doing. Your experience with exercise and working out and going to the gym is completely individual and unique to you. And you're not doing it for anybody else. No need to compare yourself when you get there. Comparison is a natural thing for humans to want to do, but then to step back and remind yourself that this is about me and my workout and nobody else. And I'm gonna go and do what I need to do and then I'm gonna leave. So let's go and I'll show you what I do. Oh, I also, I do abs five days a week as well. So I have a 10 minute ab wor workout routine that I do and I've done that every day for about three years at this point. I've been consistent with five days a week with that. Actually, before I go, I just had my B12. I'm actually gonna eat, I'm gonna eat these apple chips. This is like the perfect pre-workout to give me a little burst of quick energy without taking up too much room in my stomach so that I feel like heavy afterward. So I'm gonna eat these and then I'll see you in the gym. We'll go together, I'll show you what I do. So I'm gonna take two of these Ezekiel tortillas. I'll do one at a time, heat them up a little bit. I also have leftover three fried bean salsa mixture and the lentil mixture. I'm gonna slice up some avocado. We'll lay some of the avocado on, half on each. Some bell peppers, some of the lentil mixture, three fried beans, salsa. So it's a Saturday in the summer when I'm making these little wraps and we are going to go and sit out at the pool. And when I am at the pool and wearing tighter clothing or wearing a bathing suit or in the water, I don't want to eat a huge high volume of food, but of course I want to make sure I get in adequate calories and nourishment and nutrition. So I usually, as you see most of my meals are, I usually have simple combinations of lots of vegetables and starches, but but in situations like these, I will opt for something like a couple of these wraps because they are lower volume but still pack in a lot of nutrition and calorie density and allow me to still get in enough food while not eating too high a volume, which is key in these summer months when you're eating a little bit less clothing, moving, moving around more, swimming, etc. You guys, this text that I just got from my dad, are you kidding me? This is to me and my sister-in-law. I mean, just take a time to read that. Happy Saturday. I am headed to my parents. I'm so excited. We are seeing Eric Hutchinson. When I was in high school, I loved Eric Hutchinson. He's a musician and I discovered him on Pandora. So we are headed over there. I'm just gonna hang out with my mom. I need to catch up with her. I'm bringing over potatoes because my dad asked, you know, what, what do you want to have? And I said, I haven't had his vegetable cacciatore from the Healthy Dad Cookbook is Chef's Kiss. And we haven't had it in forever. We haven't had eggplant in forever. And eggplant is coming into season. But usually he serves it over pasta. I'm not a huge pasta gal. I know my Italian mother cannot believe her ears, but it is the truth. I'm bringing my Kindle. 
Does anybody else do this? Like, I bring my Kindle. I know I'm not gonna have time to read, but I just love the option. And I also have a little surprise for my dad, which I'll show you when we get there. Oh, I forgot. I need to do 10 bicep curls. I didn't, I didn't finish my arm workout. and My weights are right here. So I'm gonna finish <laughs> before I go. Okay. <laughs> so now that that's done, do I look strong? Cause I literally just lifted weights. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let me show you my outfit. I'm keeping it super simple, super casual since we're just going to a music show after dinner. This is like the Emmy special to be wearing a tight top with a high waisted. These are actually shorts. I also love anything that's tiered. So I love that these shorts have this first layer and then the second layer. I live for tiered, tiered skirts, tiered dresses. I, I just gravitate toward it. Oh my gosh, you guys, before I go, I am so excited because my order from Oak and Luna finally came. So I, this is not sponsored, <laughs> sounds sponsored, it's not. Every year on Black Friday, I decided a couple years ago, every year on Black Friday, I was going to invest in a piece of solid gold jewelry that will last me forever, uh, that I'd you know, be able to pass down, that sort of thing. So two years ago, I got my gold hoops and I wear these every single day. And then I'll tell you a cute story about what my mom and I are gonna do as well but I'll, I'll tell that a little bit later. Um, so I got it from a brand that is a very well-known brand, a trusted brand by many, and it was an expensive necklace and it had a little E on it. It was adorable. And unfortunately, I one day I was taking it off. I take it off every day to shower, or I would, and it was mangled. And I was like, what the heck? How did that happen? In any event, I went to a new brand, Oak and Luna, and I ordered a new initial necklace with my three initials. I kind of thought about this because I thought, you know, I've I've had my, my boyfriend and I have been dating for five years. And so at some point I'm gonna add on another last name. And so I thought, do I wanna get my three initials if I know that those are gonna change? And I decided, yeah, because I want my jewelry to tell a story. I wanna have my three initials that I currently have. So here's the box. So cute, Oak and Luna, and it has, it's like a little jewelry box. So my initials are, my cousin actually calls me by, by my initials. My initials are Eek. So now I have my little Eek necklace. Ooh, it's, yes, this is, I wanted it to be a choker, so this is perfect. Well, not a choker, I just wanted it to be, I wanted it to be short so that I can continue to layer necklaces on top of it. Oh my gosh, so cute. Love, 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 love. Off to my parents. I've just arrived and Healthy Mommy has gorgeous fruit, which flowers from the garden are now, this is how I like my fruit, so thank you. <laughs> if there are no flowers on top, I send it back. Look at that, oh, that's that? beautiful. And then, pièce de résistance. The red grapes. Wow, you make this? I did. Is it regular or sourdough? No, it's regular. Yeah, sourdough is intense. Yeah. Beauteous. How about that? Wow. All right. My work here is done. And then I think that's dad's eggplant. Healthy mommy and I are gonna go on a little pre-dinner walk, which we always do when we're at the cottage on our vacation. Yeah, yeah. So this will get us into the yeah, summer up. mood. Dad, I have a, a gift for you. You do? Yeah. At the Asian market, I saw these and I remembered that I saw a recipe, king oyster mushrooms into scallops. Oh, I have some king oyster mushrooms okay. for you I will, uh, that you can experiment that. with in a few days. So you slice them so that yep. they like look like scallops and then you pan fry them with certain spices. Uh, we've been making portobello mushroom sandwiches, subs mm -hmm. with, grilled with grilled onions. Yeah. Delicious. Um, those, those have worked their way into the rotation. Yes. <laughs> Tonight we are featuring, per request, we're going to have vegetable cacciatore. So what we got cooking right now are baby, sliced baby bella mushrooms. We have red onion, uh, red pepper, excuse me, green pepper. Green are tartar. They're, they're yeah. a little more tart, so that gives a little bit of a bite. We have red onion and sweet and sweet Vidalia onions, so we've got all those cooking. And then in the oven, underneath your beautiful potatoes are the eggplant, which was um, 
We got the water out using the microwave weapon method, so no salt. So we did five minutes on each side for, for both. Uh, and those are going to cook them, and I like them cooked a little extra. I, I don't. I like them a little more cripsy uh, than limp. And then uh, we'll throw all that in, and we're going to add in some diced tomatoes, uh, 180 milligrams of salt, so not too, too bad. And then red pepper flakes, you got to be careful, garlic powder, oregano, basil, and we are having linguine, over linguine. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. And with mums, you have to ask mum what her recipe is for bread, uh, her homemade bread. Mm -hmm. All right, healthy mummy garden tour. Garden tour. They don't even look. Those look fake. Peonies. Just be, um, just I remember you used to. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> you used to send me. I, I have a vivid memory. You sent me on the bus with peonies wrapped in tin foil to give oh, to the to bus to driver. Oh. <laughs> Those are the white cute. flowers. That they are. What yeah, do I do? The, the, well, like, do you actively like water this stuff, or is it like a passive yeah, so watering? Like, but the peonies are only yeah, now. Yeah, peonies are like ten days. Yeah, it's the prettiest day. flower. The um, roses a little better. It's such, yeah. peonies are the most nostalgic smell for me. Really, it makes me remember childhood. Cool. No, all overgrown. And, um, do roses have thorns to protect them from predators? Like, what is Probably. the what is These the predator? Really, really yeah. Not as, um, yeah, I don't know. If it keeps. Uh... Michael Singer says you have to remove the thorn. Remove your thorn. What do we have so far? Beauteous. <laughs> Will ya? <laughs> like a good kid. Um, so the, those are chives? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, I didn't know those were chives. Yeah. I forgot about that. That's crazy. Yeah. Balls, yeah. Whatever's in there, oh, so you can, then you can eat it. Yeah. yeah. So what do we have in the veggie garden? Um, we have along here are the potatoes. This is one potato that came up from last year. So I put all the potatoes here. They haven't come through yet. In the line. All right. Um, so we'll see. And all different kinds of tomatoes. San Marzano's and Sweet 100's and um, peppers. Eggplant and pickling cucumbers over there, and then I told Lenny I ordered more cages. Mom, you have the flower arrangement pro judging you. I know it looks fantastic. <laughs> well, it just looks fantastic for you guys who are transport. You're not really showing off your skills. No. I'm not really. Yeah. Trying. You either have this or make your own. I'll make my own. Okay. Yeah, you take that. Okay. Mom, are you gonna have sawdust on yours? Hot up in the cabin if you want. <laughs> Is that new? I'm gonna do veg. I really want, I want eggplant. Yum. And then I'm gonna do potatoes for my starch. I'm not a huge pasta. Pasta just doesn't do it for me. So I'm gonna do my sweet potatoes for my starch. Yum, yum, yum. Those are beautiful Delicious. with the light hitting them too. So I need to take a photo. All right, I'm just showing everyone's supper. Mm -hmm. How would you rate it? Ten. The eggplant is very sweet. Really? Mm -hmm. You must have really chosen good. a male. Well, I, which one has the seed? Here's my little Whole Foods haul. So first, they changed the packaging for the tofu at Whole Foods, which is actually really nice because usually, now you can just peel it off. You used to have to cut it. It was a big mess. So very nice. I prefer to get extra firm tofu. I find that it stays together the best and it just has a really nice texture. Sesame seeds, which will go on the tofu. I'm gonna talk about this a little bit in the recipe video about how this is such a great hack for gut health because when it comes to gut health, we really wanna focus on diversity and making sure that you're getting a good array of different types of fruits, vegetables, legumes, greens, etc. And so Whole Foods sells a bean trio that has kidney pinto and black beans all in one. So it's a really great way to increase the diversity of your diet. I got one rogue carrot because the recipe calls for it and you can buy loose carrots. A lime, did you know that you're actually supposed to look for limes that are lighter in color? Spinach, the recipe calls for it. Pico de gallo. Lazy girl hack, you can mix pico de gallo with rice and beans and it makes a delicious easy dip. Got everything set up here. And so we're gonna go ahead and make up some bowls. In today's video, I am sharing with you my go-to high protein plant-based. How gorgeous are these bowls? So we have the Southwest bowl from the Healthy Bowls cookbook, as well as the tofu teriyaki bowl. Oh my goodness, my boyfriend walks in, he's like, those look so good. Let me show you what my life looks like 90% of the time. Because if this guy could do this all day, he would be the happiest clam.
in the world. Like all he wants, it's all you want. This is literally all he wants is to be held. My discipline is going great. No counter. This is like, if he could do this all day. I actually looked up baby Bjorn's forecasts. I'm thinking about doing a video where for a week I try out all these different methods for cooking sweet potatoes and I'll literally eat sweet potatoes for every single meal as if that's different from what I currently do. I have been on Japanese cooking forums. I've been DMing people that live in Japan, asking them how they cook their Japanese sweet potatoes. And it's just so crazy all the different methods that there are. So pretty much everybody agrees low and slow, but I, I guess I'll do this whole video. So for these ones, I put them in at 300 degrees for 20 minutes, 325 for 20 minutes, and then 350 for like 45 minutes. And then I just shut off the oven and let them stay in there. And I can tell that these are gonna be really, really caramelized, gooey. Yeah, see, they're, they're oozing. I didn't cut off the ends. I could really, I think I'm going to actually. So let me know if you would want that. The way that the video will go is, It'll just be a compilation of me during a whole week. And for every meal, I will just try a different method of cooking the sweet potato and I'll rate it from one to 10. Let me know if you'd want that. It's such a niche thing. <laughs> it really speaks to uh, this Healthy Honeys community, huh? All right, let's try this method. Before I do it, I need to make sure I do my meditation. You know, I was, as I was doing my meditation, I feel this soreness. I did a different sort of workout yesterday. I did different arm, chest, back workout, and I can feel the soreness and how that's the best feeling because you know that you're getting stronger and making progress. And we can look at that mentally as well. You know, when we feel discomfort because we're putting ourselves into a situation that emotionally or mentally we're not used to and we feel uncomfortable, how that is a great thing because it shows that we're growing, we're changing. Our brain is getting stronger. Our discipline is getting stronger. Our commitment is getting strong because we feel discomfort. So just like you like the feeling of soreness after a workout because you know that you've made progress look at that in a mental sense too whenever you feel discomfort embrace it and know that that is that's the boat that's getting you from where you are now to where you want to be is your willingness to step to step into some, some discomfort and to look at it with excitement as opposed to fear time for the taste test of this slow cooking method so as you can see this is the, the common thing that I'm seeing is that when they're slow roasted, okay, the skin's peeling off, which when I slow roasted before, that wasn't the case, but I do like when it peels right off. Let's get a bite of the real stuff though. Okay, cuts like butter, cut really easily. And now I'm gonna try a bite and rate it from one to 10. I feel like I'm miscalibrated because like they're just so good. I would say like that's a solid 8.5. I'm gonna go 8.5. Yeah. 8.5. We are headed to Nantucket. We are gonna take the ferry down. Before we go, I have to do something very important. I need to set up the cat cams. For Christmas or my birthday a few years ago, my got these cat cams. Keep an eye on while we're away. The hardest part though is where do they spend their time? You have to guess, you gotta be strategic. I'm ready, I've got suitcase, jaqueta, because warm here but it'll be chilly on that ferry my bag backpack with all my work stuff the hustle never stops I have to say bye to my children are you gonna be good you are in charge okay see you babe i'm in my meredith blake era hello from the seaport our old home we are meeting friends here this is our meeting spot and then we're going to take some suburbans down to the ferry very authentic, taking the ferry to Nantucket. I used to go to Nantucket every summer growing up and it's very nostalgic for me to hop on the ferry and be on the High Line and the whole thing and the lighthouse and throwing the, the penny and it's all very nostalgic. I am going to be taking the a plane home. <laughs> it is just so easy to take a plane when you live in Boston. It's a 19 minute flight on JetBlue from Boston to Nantucket, Nantucket, Boston. So I am going to be flying home, but we're going to take the ferry down there now. Wait, 
we are at the ferry. We have just checked our bags and now we're gonna head on the ferry on this beautiful day. Goodbye, Cape Cod. It's not Kim that comes, it's Courtney. <laughs> we spotted my Elon cronies. All right, so we, so we've made it to Nantucket. Now I have the duty of going to the grocery store and getting groceries for everybody. So I'm gonna get corn on the cob, potatoes, veggies, fruit, paper towels, all that stuff. And I will see you when we get there. <laughs> all right, loading up everything in the car. You got a crew, huh? bedroom we're staying in, bathroom, living area, another bedroom over here, more bedrooms upstairs, which I'll show you. Then you walk through, there's the kitchen, tables, kitchen here, there's a bedroom over here. Oh, okay. So there's a bedroom here, driveway, living area, there's rooms up here. This is the bedroom we're staying in. A sort of little game area. There's a pool out here. And then a bunch of beds up here and this overlooks the pool so everyone's just hanging out at the pool right now hello so we've just arrived the house is unbelievable and the weather I mean we are we are some lucky guys and gals. So we just went to the grocery store, got so much stuff. And now we're gonna sit out by the pool. I actually have to get, get back to some client messages. So I'm gonna sit by the pool, get back to some client messages. I do feel very stimulated right now. So I'm actually gonna do a meditation. I got an apple at the grocery store. Uh, it's 3.30 and apparently we're doing a raw bar at like five o'clock. So I'm gonna be on duty for cooking and whatnot. I got some sweet potatoes I'll bake up, corn on the cob, and then we got like chips and all this grilling stuff. Uh, and I have some veggies. And I don't think, to be honest, I don't think people are gonna be very interested in the veggies. So I think what I'm gonna do is do the sweet potatoes, the corn on the cob, and then we have like chips, potato salad. Maybe I'll do a few veggies but I don't think we're gonna need it, honestly. I might cook them up though anyway, just so that my plate can look similar to everyone else's. So yeah, around five o'clock, we're gonna have dinner and then we are going to, we're gonna go somewhere for drinks, the chicken box, and go hang out with the girls. So here's a little fridge tour. We got a bunch of corn, squash, fruit, guac, and then down here we have a bunch of fruit. We got a bunch of seltzer. I honestly 
don't know if I'm gonna make the veggies because I feel like nobody's gonna eat them except, I guess what I'm saying is people will notice whether they're there or not. Oh, there's, oh. So I think I'm just gonna make veggies for myself and for everyone else I'll make the sweet potatoes. We have a potato salad, we have corn and like a bunch of snacks. Okay, outfit of the night. I have showered, put on makeup. The girls and I made dinner. So we did sweet potatoes, corn on the cob, grilled, all the guys grilled and we prepared all the sides. So I've got on a black dress. I have on some little cute canvas summer heels in my bag. Here's my cute little straw bag. Out. And then we have all the grilled stuff for dinner. So I'm gonna have corn on the cob, veggies, sweet potatoes, and then there's some fruit. And then we're gonna go out later, go to the chicken box, go to crew. Good morning. I just went for a beautiful 10 mile run. My aunt lives in Cisco. She has a house in Cisco and we are pretty much in town. And so my aunt's house is four and a half, five miles. And so I was like, okay, I'll run there, run to Cisco, hang out at the beach for a little bit and then run back. And so I got up at six, the sun was fully up. Sunrise was at 5.13 this morning, like coming in when I was leaving, but I just went for a beautiful 10 mile run. It was gorgeous, I feel awesome. I can't believe how warm it is out. It was definitely supposed to be cooler, but it's warmer. And now I'm gonna get changed. I'm actually not gonna shower yet because my boyfriend and I are gonna go on a walk into town and I wanna get super, well, I know I am going to get super sweaty, so no point in showering twice. When I am on vacation, I try to keep as much of my routine as I can. I'm a very regimented routine creature of habit. And so when I travel, I keep in as much of my routines as I can. So I went for a 10 mile run this morning because that made me feel awesome. It made me feel alive, grateful for these legs that get to run all over the island, grateful for these eyes that get to see the island, grateful for these ears that hear the sounds of the island. How lucky am I? So really soaking up the beauty of Nantucket. Another thing that I'm gonna do before we go, I'm just gonna organize my luggage. That is something that helps me come back to center and feel grounded is being neat and organized. I, there is nothing hate more than when I just have stuff all over the place, so let's organize. Okay, tonight's outfit, I feel like if there's any time to wear this outfit, it's Nantucket. I'm a little bit sad because we are going to go get sushi at Lola 42, but we decided to stay here instead. And you know I love sushi. So I'm gonna be having what I still have. There's leftover sweet potatoes and leftover veggies. <laughs> so I'm having what I have every night instead of sushi, but that's okay. I have on this cute little fun skirt. Like I said, if there's any time to wear it, it's Memorial Day in Nantucket. A white sweater, it is a little chilly, so my legs might be chilly, but you know. And I have on little white heels. And I have my little bag. Um, I also, I do have this like throw over. Oh, I didn't, I need to put on lipstick. Okay, I need to put on lipstick, I look crazy. <laughs> Don't look at my lips. Um, I need to do a little bit of work before I go out there. It's 7.12, I need to do a little bit of work. I know, I know. I didn't show you my sweatshirt. How cute is this? I'm obsessed, exactly what I wanted. And it's super nice, it's embroidered, you know? It's not just slapped on there, so I'm obsessed. Mission accomplished. I wanted a nice Nantucket sweatshirt. Please make sure that you are prepared for this module by printing out the worksheet that is associated with this, or you can use it on your iPad or on your device, but we're gonna work through this together. So we have our meal in front of us because we're gonna be eating together for today's workshop, and we're gonna dig into the worksheet and go through it together. So the first thing, when we are assessing our hunger fullness cues, a lot of people will fall into the trap of assessing it when it's way too late. They assess their fullness cues after the fact when their fullness cues are something that they can't even escape because it is so apparent that they've eaten past the point of fullness. All right, so for these guys, 
I don't love using tin foil for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons being I have a little bit of fear about it to be completely transparent. I just, I you know I heard Dr. McDougall say that he believes there to be a connection between aluminum, I always wanna say aluminum, aluminum poisoning and dementia, so it freaks me out a bit. Uh, and for that reason, I'll use parchment paper as a, as a block to the aluminum foil, but even still, it freaks me out. It's also super wasteful, it takes longer, it's more complicated, but I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna wrap two of these in parchment and tin foil. I could probably wrap these together, actually. So I have two in tin foil. I have two not, and I'm gonna put all these in the oven at 400. Okay, this is the naked oven roasted. Oh, there's a piece of summer squash still. Mm, I love summer squash. My mom had it in the garden last year. Fire. Okay, so when you bake it naked, it comes, a lot of the water comes out. So there's a big, there's a big gap between the skin. You can tell it's, it's shriveled up a pretty good amount. So I'm gonna take a naked bite, a non-cinnamon bite, and I'll give you my rating for this one. I'd say that's a pretty safe bet. Like that's a, that's a solid eight. So this was naked, did not cut off the ends, did not poke any holes, directly into the preheated oven at 400 for an hour. It started to caramelize a little bit. These sat for about, they sat for about an hour out. Yeah, I'd say a solid eight. I would say it has a deep flavor. It very much resembles vanilla frosting. Like really, when you cook them like this, the interior really does have that creamy feeling of cupcake frosting, truly. Mm. On to the one that has been wrapped. This guy was wrapped in tin foil. Oh, that's, it's really interesting. This one looks more wet. It's, it's more slimy looking and it peels, the skin peels off. The skin just slides right off, truly. So we'll do a naked bite, no cinnamon. It cuts through like butter, it cuts through a lot easily. It fall apart, it falls apart more easily. Okay, so when you wrap it, you know how when you eat cotton candy, you put it on your lip and it, or you put it on your tongue and it just disappears? This has more of that type of energy to it that it just disappears. It's like it, it disintegrates on your tongue in comparison to the ones that are baked naked are a little bit more chewing. Whereas this, I'll show you how. I'll show you how easily it cuts. It takes absolutely no effort. It's like mashed potatoes in whole form, you know? Delicious, okay. I'm gonna say, I'm actually gonna move the, it's so funny, I always thought that I liked them wrapped more. I'm gonna say, I'm actually gonna change my last vote to an 8.5. I know, Bear, 8.5, I know. And I'm gonna make this one an eight. Hello, I'm headed to the dermatologist and I feel so like, bougie right now. Headed to the, the doctors, just fully glammed. I filmed this morning, which is why I got a little glam going on. But it is around the time of my meal time that I have this appointment, which when you can get a doctor's appointment, you get in and you get that appointment. So I'm bringing my food with me. I have my veggies in here. And then I have this really cool lunchbox from Amazon. It actually plugs into the car. It's super cool. Uh, it has this little plug contraption. So you can plug this into the wall or you can plug it into the car. You can even plug it in on airplanes and it will heat up your food. It's not gonna cook your food for you, but it will warm it up. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to warm everything up. So I have my food in here. I have my starch in here, and then I have my veggies in here. So I can eat these in the car. I do have to go out to Chestnut Hill to get to the dermatologist, so I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. And I'm gonna bring my food along with me. Starch, veggie, little bag to put these in. And then I'm gonna need, oh, that is not closed. That would've been bad. Oh, and I love this container as well because I'm not gonna collapse it now, but it's collapsible so that once I'm done, I can just collapse it and it's not gonna take up a bunch of room. 
and I'm gonna meditate now, because I always meditate before I eat, but I can't meditate in the car. Could, I just don't like to, because I like to close my eyes. So I'll meditate and then go, and I'll show you my outfit. My cute little outfit, I have on this little sweater vest, which really is for no season. There was this New York Times cartoon. It was like, I'll put it up on the screen. What season are you for? And then I have on these little shorts with the polka dots. I've got my little summertime purse, and then I have on just these little slides. To the dermatologist we go. I've just put on a sweatshirt because I am writing up the emotional hunger workshop that I'm doing for the Salon Starch program. When I do things like this, I just think more clearly when I have some hairs pulled back and I have my glasses on. So for the Slim on Starch program, I'm doing a workshop right now to help clients with understanding the difference between physical hunger and emotional hunger and teaching my clients how to do an audit for themselves regularly, regularly to see what am I emotionally hungry for? We know how to detect physical hunger, but do we have the ability to detect emotional hunger and to fulfill our emotional hunger appropriately through things outside of food? So I'll give you a little sneak peek. I'm gonna sit down and record that module after I finish uh, making the worksheet for it. If you stayed to the end of the video, you are truly my favorite human on planet earth at this moment and I want to know who you are and say hi. So comment stayed till the end and I can comment back and show you some love. I adore you. If you liked this video, then you're going to love the next one that pops up on the screen. If you love these lifestyle vlogs and just coming along with me and seeing how I implement all the healthy habits that I talk about on this channel into my daily life. And if you like these, please let me know in the comments and I'll continue to make them. All right. Love you guys. Woo! Ciao!